Welcome to Irene's Review and in today's video we'll be looking at an unboxing of some cases namely these are used for putting in ENA monitors, um, music players, your DAP they look similar to the Van Nuys um, bags that you actually see however this is at a much cheaper price and uh, for those who are audiophiles you know most people will probably buy the Van Nuys which costs a lot of money to buy um, so I asked a friend what they were using to carry their any monitors and players and this is what my friend recommends and for those who are interested this is purchased from Taobao uh, the link will be provided below I have purchased actually three currently already using one already uh, this is what the four layer one looks like uh, the compartments here are removable so that you're able to adjust it to whatever you like uh, obviously this is probably what the size of a player is I can put a cable, any monitor and another any monitor uh, it is quite if I were to compare it looks exactly like the fine noise but at a much much cheaper price uh, it does have a kind of logo called Crossline um, again as I mentioned it's from Taobao how much is this four compartment one well let's just compare if you were to buy the Van Nuys one that is quite expensive uh, I think it's about 800 Hong Kong dollars uh, for me I paid about seven well originally on Taobao the price should be about mm, about I think 140 something for some strange reason when I ordered it they were having a discount and so I only paid 70 Hong Kong dollars so think about it 700 uh, actually 800 Hong Kong dollars or 80 Hong Kong dollars I really just paid 80 Hong Kong dollars for this nice compartment box it does open up and yes it does flatten out if you want it but I think you can see I have kept my cable connectors and st stuff inside here I have my microphone line here which is what I'm using right now to record and lots of cables and this is what the four compartment one looks like now with the so hence the reason I bought three cases in total I only paid about 200 Hong Kong dollars around that less uh, this is a brand new an open one I will not open this one again this is the four compartment one I did order a two compartment one which is uh, like halfway sadly by the time I ordered they were already sold out as far as I know Van Nuys does have a single compartment one but from the seller that I ordered from they did not have a single compartment one uh, we're going to open the four compartment uh, actually not the four compartment one this is I think you can uh, recall um, $90 or less again I got it as a discount price uh, for some reason they were offering as a cheap cheap discount actually this is the six compartment one uh, I think 85 Hong Kong dollars and again this will be, this if you were to buy in Van Nuys or one of those IEM shops is gonna retail about I think mm, around 1,000 Hong Kong dollars I'm just paying 100 Hong Kong dollars here and with this one I'm gonna show you fully what it looks like um, it has got sticky bits on the side you are able to change it to your configuration so with this one I can add a couple of um, here I'll give an example so let me put it back all nicely together uh, it does have a velcro here has to keep it all stuck together um, compartments are removable like so so it is possible that I can have maybe an example two players four big compartments for any monitor especially the ones like Zeus or the A18 and then we have some accessories on the side uh, give an example what it looks like with players put in this is my yes I do have an SP1000 Corpro now as well uh, I did go for the direction where I don't purchase the SP2000 but instead actually go for an SP1000 stainless steel saving me lots of money um, as I mentioned the SP1000 with the amp is comparable to the SP2000 that is what I feel when I actually try it and in regards to this one you can see that the SP1000 amp 
does require a little bit of more space. And then lastly, I have my Sony WM1EZ, like so. That is an example of how I you could be using this six compartment one with some maybe any monitors such as the Bravo Cupid, which I just reviewed. And um, I will do a full review of this Bravo Cupid. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um, I still got all things that I need to actually do an unboxing of, for, such as the Billy Jean. Again, this is a uh, to be a IEM uh, at an extremely low price because I got this for six hundred and fifty Hong Kong dollars. It does actually retail for two thousand ish. So that was a good deal that was going on at the AV show and I actually managed to grab one. I think it was all sold out at the AV show so I went to the shop that I mostly go to and they had actually got stock. Uh, roughly that summarizes what I want to show you today. Uh, definitely a good deal for those who are looking for a case for the any monitors. Um, again thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. I actually have ordered also a headphone. Uh, open back headphone for a uh, future video which has just purchased today and it will come possibly hopefully next week and I'll show you what it is that will be my first proper headphone as you know I'm an in-ear monitor guy anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video and again do hit subscribe and maybe recommend it to some friends